Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Harguneet Kaur, a second year resident of the radio diagnosis, currently studying in Dr. D.Y. Patil University School of Medicine, Nami Mumbai. And my topic for the paper presentation is CT coronary angiography in the coronary anomalies and normal variants. So, coronary artery anomalies and normal variants are frequently incidental findings but may occasionally present with significant clinical impl implications ranging from benign courses to malignant variants associated with sudden cardiac death and the conventional angiography is limited in its ability to accurately define anomalous origin and courses whereas computed tomography coronary angiography provides unparalleled anatomical visualization. This study highlights the role of uh, CT coronary angiography in identifying and characterizing anomalies such as anomalous origin, malignant interarterial courses, short left main coronary artery and the normal variants like left anterior descending artery subtypes, myocardial, bridging and ramus intermediates. Recognition of these findings is essential for guiding clinical decisions, surgical interventions and avoiding misinterpretations as pathological stenosis. So, coronary anomalies are present in about 1% of the population while normal variations are more common, seen in up to 30%. Most are benign but cert certain anomalies particularly Anomalous origin of the left main coronary artery with interarterial course carries a malignant prognosis. CT coronary angiography has become the gold standard for non invasive evaluation, providing multiplanar and 3D reconstructions to clarify complex anatomy. By detecting anomalies early, CT coronary angiography reduces misdiagnosis prevents unnecessary intervention and aids in surgical planning. So the aim of the topic is to evaluate the role of CT coronary angiography in detecting coronary anomalies and normal variations. And the objective of the topic is to characterize normal coronary variants and to illustrate anomalies such as anomalous origin and malignant courses and to discuss their clinical implications and highlight advantages of the CT over the conventional techniques. So it depends on the dominance of the heart. So the heart dominance refers to the pattern of which the coronary artery supplies the posterior descending artery also known as the posterior interventricular artery which is responsible for supplying blood to the inferior wall of the heart the dominance can either be right, left or co-dominant. So, we can see that the posterior descending artery and the posterior left ventricular artery is seen arising from the right coronary artery and which represents the right heart dominance. And in this image, we can see the posterior descending artery and the posterior left ventricular artery is seen arising from the left uh, left anterior descending artery which represents the left heart dominance. So there are the four types of left anterior descending artery which are the normal variants. So type 1 is, is the in type 1 the left anterior descending artery is short and it doesn't reach up to the left ventricular apex and it is supplied by the right coronary artery. In type 2, it reaches up to the part of the apex but the rest is supplied by the right coronary artery and the type 3 is most common type and it supplies the entire left ventricular artery apex sorry apex and in type 4 which is also known as the wrap around is seen is uh, is called wrap around because it wraps around the apex and supplies more than 25 percent of the inferior wall so we can see this is the type 1 this is type 2 and this is type 3 
So the other normal variants are the superficial myocardial bridging in which the left anterior descending artery runs intramyocardially, which may cause ischemia. And the other is the ramus intermedius. This is the third branch from the left main coronary artery, which runs between the left anterior descending artery and the left circumferential artery and is seen in 20 to 30 percent cases. And then there is a short left main coronary artery in which the length is less than 10, 10 mm. So in, in superficial myocardial bridging is the middle segment of the left anterior descending artery refers to a congenital anomaly where a segment of the left anterior descending artery runs through the heart muscle instead of the heart surface. This tunneling of the artery can lead to compression during heart contraction, possibly causing ischemia and symptoms like chest pain. So we can see it is the course is the intramyocardial and, and there's sudden narrowing so during contraction which can lead to the symptoms of ischemia and chest pain. So, ramus intermedius branch is a variant of coronary artery that arises from the left main coronary artery. It's a third branch that emerges between the left anterior descending artery and the left circumferential artery. And it is considered as a normal variant occurring in 20 to 30 percent of the population. So, we can see this is the left anterior descending artery this is the left circumferential artery and there's an artery running between known as the ramus intermedius so the short left main coronary artery the normal length of the left main coronary artery is around 10 to 25 mm and the short left main coronary artery can be as short as 2 to 10 mm So the coronary anomalies, anomalous left main coronary artery origin from the right coronary artery and the malignant left main coronary artery course that is the intra-arterial path between the iota and the pulmonary artery which is associated with the risk of ischemia and sudden cardiac death. So the anomalous origin of the coronary artery below shown is the case of the anomalous origin of the left main coronary artery from the proximal right coronary artery with the malignant course of the left main coronary artery between the iota and the pulmonary artery in a 73 year old male. And this is the another image of the anomalous origin of the left main coronary artery from the proximal right coronary artery. So, the malignant course of the left main coronary artery refers to a rare abnormal anatomical variation where the where it runs between the iota and the pulmonary artery. This interarterial course increases the risk of myocardial ischemia and sudden cardiac death. So, we can see over here. This is the left main coronary artery running between the pulmonary iota, pulmonary artery and the aorta. So the clinical implications are the benign variants often incidental but may be documented. Malignant anomalies require close follow-up or surgical correction. The CT coronary angiography allows precise mapping of the vessels, anatomy and clinical risk certification. So, the result of the paper is that the normal variants, the left anterior descending artery subtypes were frequently observed. That is the type 3 which was the most common and the ramus intermedius was present in up to 20-30% of the patients and the myocardial bridging in the mid left anterior descending artery identified in several asymptomatic individuals. The coronary anomalies, the anomalous left main coronary artery arises from the right coronary artery with intra-arterial malignant course detected in an elderly male. The short 
left main coronary artery identified incidentally relevant for interventional planning so the ct coronary angio clearly delineated the vessel anatomy conforming benign versus malignant forces and avoid diagnostic ambiguity so the conclusion is that the computed ct angiography is a gold standard for the evaluation of coronary anomalies and normal variants it provides accurate non invasive 3d anatomical mapping differentiates between benign and malignant variants and guides early intervention and reduces morbidity and mortality so these are the references for the paper presentation and thank you